every single step has been pretty exciting because it looks totally different every time that we do something but this overhang really changes the entire appearance of the front of the house so i've been trying to picture what it's going to look like and where it's going to be set so to see these rafters going on is pretty exciting they've got pretty much a one side all the way down and they're going to switch the other side and then finish off the front All of the rafters have been set that can be set before that front truss goes on, so now they're going to start cutting all of the pieces for the truss. So that truss and overhang is really coming together. What do you think, Mama? Is your vision come to life? Are you happy with it? It's coming to life. I love it. We have a lot of staining to do, but it's gonna look so good. The truss is coming along great, and Big Pappy's brother is here bailing up the hay. Well, I guess it's probably more his granddad. This is an old John Deere baler. It's pretty cool. The kids like to watch this. It is so intensely hot already. It's about 10.30 and we're already almost at 100 degrees. So I think it's supposed to be 108 today. So the guys are going to set those last two rafters and then they're out of here for the day. They'll be back early tomorrow morning to probably start sheeting. Jeremy and I are gonna wait until the sun starts to set to get any of our work done. Hey, Melissa, it's time to get up. Come on, we have work to do. What's the point? We've run out of coffee. Melissa, come on, let's go. Mm. Mm. What Melissa doesn't know is that our trade order arrives. With trade, you can discover new coffees from the nation's best local roasters. Trade matches you to your own personal selection of coffee and ships straight from the roastery at peak freshness. Trade uses compostable packaging to ship all their coffee in. It's also roasted and shipped within 24 hours of ordering. That'll get her up. Just take the quiz. Answer questions about how you like your coffee and trade will curate matches just for you. Choose your delivery frequency and it'll appear at your doorstep at the peak of freshness so you never have to run out again. Then just rate your matches so trade can continue to delight you with coffees you'll love. With the first match guarantee, trade guarantees that you'll love your first coffee, but if you don't, they'll ship out a different bag for free. Hello. Is that Citizen by the City of Saints coffee roasters I smell? Ooh, Citizen is everything I could want in a house hubby. I mean in a house blend. Lots of sweetness, just enough body to keep you sipping all day. Our viewers will get 50% off their first bag when they sign up. 
offer valid on the first 100 people who click the link in the description. Just take the quiz, click on the link down in the description box and enter code SIMPLELIVING50. Free shipping is also included. We had every intention of getting some work done yesterday after the guys left, but by the time they left, it was already like 106 degrees and it didn't drop down below 100 until it was pitch black out. So we didn't actually get anything done yesterday, but the guys are not showing up today because it's supposed to be 108, not conducive at all for roofing. So instead, Jeremy and I are gonna hijack their lift and try to get some work done here before noon hits and it gets really hot. Before they left yesterday though, they managed to get in this structural truss here. It's a real focal point, it's on the front of the house. Melissa needed to have it. Love it. She loves it, I love it, I think it looks great. Um, it's nice to see that up. So once they come back and finish off that overhang, I think mm -hmm. things will really be dialed in at the front of the house. It really yeah. gives you the finished appearance of what it's ultimately gonna look like. Yeah, it's so exciting. So since it's only 99 degrees right now, <laughs> let's get to work before yeah. that 108 hits. Before my eyelids start sweating. It's so hot. <laughs> when we sheeted our gable ends, if you'll remember, we kind of had that little uh, awkward transition from the two foot centers on the truss down to the 16 inch centers here on the walls. Because of that, we ended up with some seams that we weren't actually able to nail down. Um, I think we have six of these to do on either gable end. So what we're gonna do to get started today is put up some nailing backers. We'll then secure the sheeting to those backers um, and then get everything taped off finally. Okay, ponytails are not my thing. Other girls do the low ponytail and they look so pretty and effortless. And when I do a low ponytail, I look like one of the founding fathers. All right, I'm gonna go through our bone yard here and see if I can find some two by sixes Jeremy can use them off to cut into any of any of the new ones. While Jeremy's over there being boring, I want to introduce my snack belt choice of the day. Today, I'm eating a variety of dry foods from the Dowling Orchards, Dowling Orchards in California. So we got a whole box of different California treats. These were included in them. These are some pineapple rings. They don't have any added sugar, so it's basically like eating fruit, which is very exciting. We also got some dried peaches. Those were incredible. I've never had dehydrated peaches before. The kids, absolutely killed those and then we've got some vanilla caramels for jeremy and caramel for me we have an ongoing debate is it caramel or caramel it's caramel <laughs> i like to say caramel it really irks them so anyway i've already eaten like three quarters of these they're really good when they get warmed up maybe the best caramel i've ever had caramel spider oh jeremy's just a spider Chopped his head off. Thank you, Mama. Okay. Get it? You got it. Oh. I'm walking the wall. That's funny, Dad. At it again with the dad jokes. That was hilarious, Dad. Is that a brown braided leather belt? Is that a cell phone holster? Is that a Bluetooth? Ring ring, official dad business. Get this nailed up and then we can put our tape on. Well, then 
nice cool side of the house. The shaded side. Is it better over here, Eli? Much cooler, huh? Look at this. This guy has no pants on. What is going on? Is it that hot? Yeah. <laughs> I was telling Melissa on the opposite side of the house when I got the ladder set up. I landed on the zip tape and it started to just slide because it was so warm and goopy. It just, it's crazy. Hey, goopy. How hot the surface is. It's like probably close to 100 degrees outside now. Huh? Yeah, I think we're probably only going to get the shaded side done and then we're, we're done yeah, for we're the day. Break till tonight. Yeah. All right, we got all of our nailing backers up. Now we are going to get our gable ends taped. If I can get unstuck from this floor, Jeremy's gonna fire up the boom and we're going up. So gross, so graphic, we don't need that. My butt's stuck to the floor. Oh. You're gonna have to peel me off this. Oh. This. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I'm not on it! <laughs> okay, up, up, and away. Ow, 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 ow. I'll just sit down and set up all that. You got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what I said. No touchy. Hot. Just hurdle it. Oh my gosh. Except for oh my gosh, down the ladder he goes. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm up here melting. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. Why? Because you're the supervisor. Oh, oh, it's nice of you to show up. <laughs> Get your butt up here right now before I kick the ladder. <laughs> oh. I'm getting Oh, hot potato, hot potato, hot, hot. Holy, everything is small lava. You got that straight. Everything. Do you think? Me? No, Melissa, that is not. Oh, even that's hot. Alright, here we go. And gooey. It's so melted. Yeah. Real stupid. Real safe. So you're knifing your waistband? It's not nice to do anything important. Anything like that. <laughs> I've had my four kids. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Kenji, you dead man? Y'all man. Kenji is the world's most loyal dog. It is so hot out here and he will just lay under there until we're done working because he just wants to guard us or be with us or whatever it is. But in the winter time when we were building the chicken coop, we had the coldest week of the year and he was out there just shivering even though he can go inside at any time. He just prefers to stay right by us. Alright, last seam, and we we're getting down, we're going to take a break, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we did not get done by noon, it's getting into the hottest part of the day, so we'll probably wait until the sun goes down and then get back out here and go to the other side. Well, 
8.30 at night, still 100 degrees, but that actually means that it's cooled down. So we're gonna get back outside, get some work done. Excuse me, I look like a drowned rat. You're making me look bad. You're already out here working, being productive. I'm struggling with productivity. Just wanna get everything done before it gets dark. Me too, I know. We've got maybe an hour of daylight. Can we do it? Rolling with the Get a move, Mama. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> okay, I'll just sit down and drink my sparkling water here. Whew. Light breeze. That's nice. Jeremy is almost done up there. He's almost out of tape, We're running out of light, but look what we noticed, wildfire smoke. So over here, it's totally blue, if you guys can make that out. And then as I move over here, the front of all that California wildfire is rolling in. Apparently the skies are supposed to be really bad in a couple days, but it wasn't supposed to be here this early, but we just noticed this pink haze coming along. So here we go for wildfire season. So that's the last little scene we had to do. Out of tape. Jeremy's out of tape. So we're gonna be short by like five inches. This is bad memories of Christmas wrapping. <laughs> we'll get more tape and we'll finish this. Later. Unacceptable. I don't Step there, Phyllis. Quick status update, Michael and Sebastian are back up on the overhang getting the metal put down, which is a beautiful thing. We also got the fascia put on the front. It is a nice, chunky, like two by 12 fascia. Love the way that looks. It has an additional overhang on the overhang itself since it extends out. <laughs> we past like the overhangs truss. on our overhangs. Yeah, no, but again, we were ecstatic with how this looks. Um, it's amazing, the progress that we've yeah. made here in the past two weeks. Yeah, it doesn't even look like the same structure. This is so exciting. Now, now it looks like a house. It does. And it's another warm day and they're putting down that black metal. So we're going to check on, in, in on them and make sure they're doing okay. Yeah, make sure they're not sticking to it. Mm. 
the shadow We are so close to getting this house completely dried in. We are almost done framing and sheeting. We just have that last little portion on the back wall, that last upper gable end. And then we have a couple little sections of sheeting here. Since the trusses got put on, we're able to now complete all of the sheeting. So our goal now is just to start tackling these projects and then we can start focusing on the next steps to getting dried in. This is my kind of hype. I like this. I wish the boom never went any higher than this. Boom, boom, boom. You may say, Please don't sing that song. <laughs> <laughs> That's when he said it's six foot three. Jeremy, if you're six three, you should just be able to hurdle yourself up here. I mean, that's head level. That's not. I can't jump that high. But you should still be able to, like, you know. I feel like you've been lying to me all these years about how tall you are. Today our focus is on getting these jet out portions completely sheeted. We aren't going to be taping them today because, well, we ran out of zip tape. So we will be going into town later on and getting all the tape that we need, but we can at least get all the sheeting done, which is the hard part because of all the angled cuts, starting with that little weird triangle back there. So look at this, shaded workspace. Oh, nice. How's that shade feeling? It's still warm, but it's better than working out in the beaming sun. Yes, the beaming sun, where I'm waiting. Kenji's got the right idea. So we have about eight foot stretch that needs to cover this spot here. Unfortunately, when I took my measurement, and this is something a total amateur like myself would do, just brain fart. Um, I measured to the deepest part of this angle. We have the top of the truss coming down. So what's happening is it's actually pinching our half inch sheet um, at the very top end. So I need to cut this shorter. I'm not gonna cut it to an angle because this is all eventually gonna be covered anyway, but we're gonna shorten our cut, get the place back in there, and I'll try to do better from here on out. Learn from your mistakes. That's what we do here. One, two, three. Hopefully it took enough off. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Not even close. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. How did I do that? Jeremy, you want to tell the fine people at home what you did? I got my measurement flipped. I took a measurement. I wrote down 32. The measurement was actually 23. So yeah, it was. So I had a little more material than I actually needed. Hey, but that's better but, than not enough. Yeah, it's better than cutting it short. So that's anyway, right. let's see if this works. It not should, good. hopefully. Look at that! Look at Look that! Like a glove. 
fruit smoothie. What'd you make? A fruit salad. That is a tiny fruit salad. Did fruit you guys? Fruit salad, fruit, fruit salad. Did you pick berries? Yeah. What kind of berries are those blueberries, Eli? Um, June berries. June berries. So we wait all year for the June berry bush, right? Actually, Eli does. He's the only one that likes June berries just fresh. So he'll sit there and eat them off the plant. They're kind of, um, they're also known as Saskatoon berries in Canada, but they're, I mean, they're kind of a blah blueberry. They're really bland. They're not really sweet. Yeah, but he loves them. All right, well, enjoy. Alrighty, one side done and one more to go. We've got these jet out ends all sheeted. Like I learned something, Mama. Like I learned. We have one last little piece that Jeremy is cutting and then we will attach that up there. It already looks so different just to have this section closed in. So once we're done today, we just have this back gable end to do and we are completely done framing and sheeting, which is unreal because we have been framing and sheeting and framing and sheeting for the last two months. So it just is really crazy to think about being done with that step. That was such a huge, project and it was so overwhelming at times but just to look at it now and I mean I can't even really remember each little portion like framing in closets and things like that because it's been such a journey so it's really really exciting to literally see the light at the end of the tunnel. All right, let's get that last piece on. And remember, Trade is giving anyone that clicks our link below 50% off their first bag when they use our code SIMPLELIVING50. We now literally have a roof over our heads. And that is welcome relief from this hot, dry summer. Although the heat has been intense, and it's crazy to even think about winter right now, the truth is, snow will be flying before we know it, and we still have a lot to do before we're dried in. So we'll celebrate the completion of the roof, and tomorrow we'll get right back after it. Because as tempting as it can be to take our foot off the gas, we still have so far to go towards completing our goal. And as it turns out, goals don't work unless you do.